what is going on fellas welcome to debit credit nation and today we are going to learn sap s4 hana fiori many a times you have heard that s4 hana brings us with a new feature called fiori app fiori can be accessible from anywhere from your desktop browser from your mobile app tablet etc etc we don't have to depend on the gui one of my client in my previous project used to call the classic gui as the stupid gray screen so they were very much happy whenever we provided any demo on the fury app but you know i was losing all my audiences whenever i show any demo in the gui so without any further ado let's talk about the sap s4 hana fury and the capabilities so this is the home screen of sap s4 hana the boxes you are seeing these are called apps so you can adjust your apps you can relocate the apps according to your requirement so i have created couple of groups one is called the finance master data and the other one is called finance transaction data and i have put all the transaction data related apps over here and master data apps over here these are the two custom groups that i just created for my user apart from that standard sap provides you all this feature like gl overview account overview for gl master general ledger then journal entries periodic processing tax processing everything so sap provides a lot of you know grouping so let's go to the finance master data so the first app we are going to talk about is the manage business partner master data so this app is basically the transaction code that you use bp to open a business partner we can use this app let's open this app now so this is the home screen of this app now if i want to see what are the bps created in this system just click on go and you can see around 3900 bps are already created in this system so if you want to download the number of business partner what you can do you can just click on this excel extract button just select this and system will download everything all the bp that are created in this system it can download so i'm just canceling it and i'm going to download with very less data so that the download can take place in a smoother way so we can search the bp based on these filters now suppose i want to look for a bp whose name is say, i don't know if the system has a test bp cell so search with test let's see if i click on go button do i see any business partner yes so 171 business partner contains the name test so you can search with this search bar or suppose you want to search with business partner which are created in 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 country us you can search or what you can do you can click on this f4 button and here you can mention suppose i want to see the business partner which are created in say great britain so i am entering gb and i am clicking on okay i don't know if this uh, system has any uh, business partner so yeah this many business partners were created in gb so five business partners are there so that way also you can search and suppose these fields are not sufficient for you you can add more fields what you can do you can click on this add up filter button and see these are the more field that you can add say you want to so these are the check boxes that means these filters are already available but suppose you want to add more filter so maybe you can click on here and say you want to add the word name one and name two okay then click on okay so name one and name two are added i'm going to show you my business partner so i have written the business partner names so these are my business partners so what you can do since we have couple of business partners so click on this f4 button then take the drop down as between and enter the two business partner in the from and to range so this is the range that i'm going to search and click on go okay so these are the two business partners created also you can look for the roles if you want to get the business partner based on the roles so see if you want to look for vendor or you want to look for customer that way also you can search now suppose the first business partner i am going to show you say this alex nelson so we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 columns but if you want to see more column what you can do you just need to go to this uh, settings button and see what are the items that are checked in that means only those fields are being shown suppose i want to see the any field say i want to see the created on okay then i click on enter i click on okay so created on field is added so that way you can add as many fields as you want now suppose i want to download the business partner same way you can click this excel button and it has downloaded the two business partners let me show you how does it look like so see the two business partners are selected based on the fields that we have chosen in the input screen 
okay now let's get inside the business partner so the first business partner i am going to click in so this is the inside screen of business partner which is equivalent to the uh, standard sap gyt code bp now this is my business partner i click on roles so from here you see this fi customer so this is a customer business partner so you can select the role then go to company code data so this business partner is extended to only one company code get inside and you can see the relevant data whatever fields we have general data correspondence finance withholding tax so uh, i can see the reconciliation gl is here so all those features are available here so i'm coming back one additional feature is that whenever you create a business partner if you want to attach any uh, id proof you can go to this attachment and you can add anything so in order to attach something you have to edit the business partner so i click on this edit option and then this uh, edit button will be enabled for me and i can add any uh, any document here so you click on this button and it will take you to the uh, your desktop or any any documents special document you want to add over here and you can save it okay now this is all about business partner in fury we don't see any tables the tables are not available here ac doca uh, bu to triple zero those tables you cannot see but all the uh, functionalities of the table will be addressed here so see you can search business partner from this screen so you can add the uh, you can search based on role based on city based on country or you can go for a uh, blank search okay so all those features are available here next we are going to show next i'm going to post a normal fb50 journal entry so for that we have this app post general journal entries which is equivalent to fb50 now click on this style and this is my first screen so i'm entering the posting date and this is my company code transaction make sure you add all the required entries wherever these uh, red asterisks are there those are the required fields then you click on gl account suppose i don't remember my gl account what i can do i can search for say i want to use office supplies so look for su just add the uh, spelling here then you click on go button so you'll see the gl account here so this is my office supply say i want to post a debit of say 65 dollar now it's a profit and loss account we will be needing a cost center for cost center expand this node and you'll see the additional fields click on the cost center f4 help for this company code i am going to look for the cost center click on go uh, so this is the dummy cost center that i created select it then collapse the node and enter the credit gl i'm going to use any cash gl so for that even i can search from here cash system will uh, prompt me the cash gl so i'm going to use the cash desk and this is a credit item and since it's a balance sheet gl i don't require any cost center or profit center so the balance is zero but i see a yellow that means there is a message i guess uh okay tax code is relevant but anyways uh posting without tax allowed is checked that's why i can do it so i'm going to click on simulate before posting i'm just simulating it so i can ignore this warning message tax posting so this is going to be the journal entry it is not yet posted so sap has assigned a number range once it is posted the actual number range will be assigned to us so we have this header and all all those things they are line item if i want to see inside of the line item i can click on this then i can see all this thing assignment item text all this thing blah blah then click on back so i am satisfied with the entry i can come back and i am going to click on post okay one more thing i have this again i have this attachment option so i can attach any any document here so let me attach something say i'm attaching this document okay so attachment has been done now i'm going to post it so once posted the document number is generated fiscal year and the company code is shown so i'm going to click on display to see that document which is the fb03 screen so here i can see it is uh, it is being displayed i can see the attachment if i want to see the attachment just open the attachment so it has been generated i just added a random attachment from uh, my desktop so this is a notepad now in the header this is the header data this is the line item data so if i want to edit it i can click here so by clicking here i can edit it so line item level whatever fields i can edit so text assignment and all those things i can edit or in the header level i can edit the reference header text all these things i can edit general journal entry then i am saving it 
so the journal entry is edited this field is updated if i want to reverse it i i have this button i have this functionality over here i can click on this reverse button and click on ok i'm not going to reverse it so this is how we post a journal entry now as i already explained that in sap theory we don't have any table so in s4 we know that there is ac docker and bkpf table but in theory you cannot see any table basically tables are available for the backend users or the it consultants who wants to write a logic they need a table the fury is generally used by the business users who are the front end user they will not need any table but still if they want to use if they want to access any table that feature is also available so for that go to this uh, journal entry group under that you can see manage journal entries just click on it and it will serve the purpose of ac docker So this is the input screen of manage journal entry. Suppose I want to see the documents that are posted in my company code. So I can go on, click on this F4 button and enter my company code. And I can click on go button there. I'll see what are the documents posted in this particular company code. So see these eight entries are already posted in this company code. What else can I do? Suppose I want to check the document that I just posted. So I know my document number ends with four. I click on this journal entry tab here. Journal entry means the document number. In Fury, document number is known as journal entry and document date is known as journal entry date. And document type is called journal entry type. So I know my document ends with four. So I enter four here and I click on OK and I click on go. So I can find out my document. What else can I do? I can see what are the document types. That is what are the journal entry types are there. For example, I posted the journal entry with SA. So I look for the document type or the journal entry type SA. Filter it. Click on go. And I can, I can click on go button. I can see all the documents which are posted with the journal entry type SA. So here we can see the description of the document type as well. Now, what else can I see? Suppose I don't want to see, I want to see all the documents which are posted in this particular environment. So I remove all the company code, journal entry type, everything, and I go for a blank search. So this environment has 81 documents posted. Now, if I want to further specify, I can specify based on a journal entry date, I can enter a date range. Suppose for the month of August, I want to see whatever number of documents are posted for the month of August. So here I can enter 1st August to 31st August. Then I can click on go button. So out of 81, 38 entries were posted within the month of August. Now, similarly, I can click on this uh, export to spreadsheet button to download all the documents. Or what I can do, I can click on this uh, settings button and I can add more field. For example, I can add this entered on field or I can add the fiscal year field or whatever field I want to add, I can add this period field. So I just added three more fields. So see nine out of 45, so 45 fields we can select. N out of 45, nine entries are selected. I'm going to click on okay. So it will add those extra additional fields. What else can I do with the settings button? I can go to the sort field here. What I can do, I can select a particular uh, item. Say for example, I can go for period and I want to sort ascending then I can click on OK. So what will it do? It will search for the period 7, then period 8. So I had a date range here. Let me get rid of the date range. So no date range. All entries will be shown here. So now my period is in an ascending format. What else? Suppose I don't want the period, but I want a posting date. Then I want to do descending. Do that. So it is sorted descending based on the posting date. What other features do we have? Click on the settings once again, then go to the filter. Suppose I want to filter based on company codes. I want to see the documents which are posted in company code 6000 only. So I see 81 documents are here. Then if I click on OK, I will see eight documents. These eight documents are posted in 6000 company code. These are the feature. Let me, if I want to remove everything, I can click on this restore button, then OK. Then I can see all entries. What else? What else can I do? I can select multiple documents and I can click on reverse. So that way I can reverse multiple document in one go. Or what I can do, I can get inside of any document, which is a previous screen. 
so manage journal entry this is the previous screen that i just i have just shown you after posting the document or i can come back and go for this other feature called journal entry analyzer currently i don't have the role that's why i cannot show you or i can click on more links and i want to go i can navigate to any other app using this i'm going to post an invoice to my customer and i'm going to collect money from that customer so invoice to customer means fb70 which is essentially this one create outgoing invoices just click on it so i'll enter my company code and this is the same screen fb70 screen look for my customer since i suppose i don't remember my customer name so i can search with company code i have one customer so this is my customer select it now enter the invoice date so this is my invoice date i reference i call it sales invoice 1 say it is an invoice of say 100 dollar here i am going to enter the gl account this screen is almost same say discount received i am going to use select discount received then enter the amount and again we need a cost center so i'm going to enter a cost center here so i'm adding using my demo cost center and post so document is posted now go to more and document and display so this is the document this is the classic fb03 uh, screen i am going to make payment to this customer so for that we have another app post incoming payment so i just created an invoice now customer is going to pay me so click on post incoming payments app so this is the interface enter the company code enter the gl account so i am going to use the cash gl account say cash desk i am going to use uh, so today we are going to receive the money and amount so we know that the invoice was of 100 dollar suppose i am going to receive say 90 dollar okay so enter the amount and the currency and here you will enter the customer so our customer is 96 so look for the customer for 6000 company code i have this is my customer okay make sure all the red uh, star entries are populated now click on propose item now system will find out whatever open items we have so this is the only open item we have so out of 100 just click on this clear button i am going to post 90 90 then you can simulate or you can post i am going to post it directly click on post so document is posted now i am going to click on display so this is my display so cash account debit and customer account credit if you go inside you will see all the details uh, so cash account debit this is the assignment that is the date is here now you click on this button to say the next entry this is the next entry so this is a uh, customer's entry uh posting key and all okay so this is how you can use fury app this is just a introduction video i am going to create more detailed video on sap fury from sap fico point of view keep watching my channel and subscribe to david great nation we'll see you again with a new tutorial video thank you so much